My name is Jessie Strawham. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina, and I'm 25 years old. January 18th of 2015, I was in a motorcycle accident. A woman made a U-turn into the bike I was on, and it paralyzed me. It almost cost me my life. I died twice and was resuscitated. Uh, I broke a rib, which punctured my lungs and nicked my spinal cord, ultimately paralyzing me. I broke my back in two places. I have 19 screws and two rods holding me together, and I'm still out here ripping. Uh, we had left a traffic light on our way to downtown Charlotte, and the woman just never stopped, and he never stopped. I closed my eyes, tucked, woke up a week later in the hospital, and have started a pretty incredible journey. After I was finally medically cleared, I got to go to inpatient rehab where I learned kind of how to exist in life with my spinal cord injury. Uh, from there, I went home and I taught myself how to live fully with my spinal cord injury. And now I want, it's taught me how to teach others to live fully. Uh, my biggest battle with my paralysis has been my bladder control. I would give an, literally a leg to have my bladder back fully, uh, to be able to control that. You know, that's, that's the biggest struggle. People don't, they only see the physical disability and the visible part of it that, hey, you can't walk, but they don't realize that you lose a lot of other things with it. I always say that getting paralyzed is the greatest and worst thing that's ever happened to me. Uh, the greatest because it's giving me this incredible life to find all these sports. Uh, I have water skied and I actually qualified for the U.S. Disabled Water Ski Championships. I competed in that. Uh, I competed in the 2016 World Wheelchair MX Championships, which is taking your wheelchair to the skate park. Uh, I race off-road for Polaris in the GNCC Series, still getting to do what I love to do. I started doing Tough Mudders and I'm paving the way for wheelchair athletes in the obstacle course racing community. Uh, I also hand cycle, snow ski, and have done a few other things. I'm actually going on off-road mountain biking as well, and when you do that with a group of people, you meet a great community. I mean, it's, it's been the greatest and worst because of, it's been the greatest because of the people I've met, the opportunities that I've got to experience. I've embraced this life 100%. It's all perspective, and I looked at it as an opportunity. Paralysis is my opportunity to start over and reinvent myself, and I absolutely did that. After you get out of rehab, they expect you to go home and continue to live your life. Your life is never the same after a spinal cord injury. And your family's life is never the same after a spinal cord injury. It not only affects the person that gets it taken away from them, it affects everyone around them and they're always wondering and waiting for that phone call of your loved one's been in an accident and and they're never going to walk again or you you don't you don't go back to a normal life it's it's not something that will ever be given to you um it's it's very hard to adjust if you don't have an open mind to this change uh, there, there's a lot that comes with it that's unimaginable. It, it, can't, it can't be put into words. There's, there's no words for trying to exist after this injury. It's hard. It's very hard. Since being injured, I've wanted people to wheel with me. Come with me. Live your life to the absolute fullest. Use your obstacles to make that possible. That's what I've done with this obstacle of having a spinal cord injury. So I want people to wheel with me. It's a, it's a positive getting out and living and not letting life get you down. The ultimate goal of the Wheel With Me Foundation is to build a transitional house because you're only taught to exist when you get out of inpatient rehab. You're not taught how to live. Every year, there's 17,000 spinal cord injuries. When I initially got injured in 2015, the census from 2014 said there was 12,000 spinal cord injuries a year. So in the short time that I've been injured now, it's been three years, that number has grown by 5,000 people. 
we're not getting better. We're in a cumulative number. You don't just heal from a spinal cord injury. It's like, here you go, you're not gonna walk again. Here's your wheelchair and your catheters. Go on about your life. And they don't teach you how to actually live. You're taught how to exist. Community is not set up for a wheelchair. It's not. So you've got to learn and adapt and to live in the community. Get out and live. Where are these people at? 17,000 spinal cord injuries, you don't see them. I want to build a transitional house to integrate these patients back into an independent community and to get them to where they'll live their life to the absolute fullest. In three to six months in my program, I want them to be able to go out and have an absolutely, absolutely incredible life just like I have. I travel, to, and I document my travels, to bring awareness to living life with a spinal cord injury and how you can live it to the fullest with a spinal cord injury. So, I am gonna drive from Charlotte, North Carolina to Las Vegas, Nevada to compete in World's Toughest Mudder to raise awareness for spinal cord injuries and to hopefully raise some money for the Wheel With Me Foundation so I can get this first house off the ground. I am also gonna make stops along the way and every stop I make, my goal is to speak at a school to either a class of up and coming uh, OTs, PTs, or high school students uh, about using your obstacles to live life to the fullest, how to live with this injury, and to teach those OTs and PTs that are going through school ways to adapt to try and understand us better, to teach newly injured better until I can get a house built so I can do that. Um, so I wanna drive across the country and show people, you know, there's nothing that can hold you back. And I'm gonna compete in a 24 hour tough mutter to show there's no obstacle that can't be overcome. Thank you so much for following my journey and watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you liked it too, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow my personal journey. Thank you so much and wheel with me.